I, I can't I can't do it all folks. I have done crack to get my message out to people. But what I'm about to talk to you about now is something very important and should be brought about to everyone in the world. Now Shrek No no wait. Before you like like disconnect from this video, I think you should hear me out and I have some very valid reasons. First off, I'm from New Jersey and I grow stuff. Yay. So, the reason I brought this up is because people have not been worshipping Shrek lately. And I want to change that. Shrek is amazing. He, he's brought so much love to my life. He showed me the way. And I don't know what I'd, where I'd be without him. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, that was a silly burp. And, see, Shrek is love. He, he's love, he's life. But, it just gets me so angry sometimes because he he just does all these things for us. He gives us onions, he gives us love, he, he, he has sex with us, but no one ever gives him with anything in return. And it makes me wanna fuck bitches! I don't wanna hear all this crap! And this is a tomato! I'm sorry. But you gotta get angry, you gotta find your humanity, and you gotta start worshipping Shrek the way you were supposed to. This is ridiculous. Now, the thing is... Hold on a brief second. Piece of shit. Okay, that's fine. And the thing is, the reason why I'm angry about this is because one night Shrek came to me and he told me. He told me everything before brutally penetrating my butt. He said he was sad that there weren't enough brokers around in the world and we couldn't celebrate Shrekmas properly next year. The broker population has been brought down by at least 80%. And we, that's, that's a lot for people to be brought out in such a manner. Shrek has been taking to raping foster kids. <laughs> well, first there's prisoners. Well, well, they deserve it. It's not fair because I don't think. Because there's been syphilis going on in Guatemala. And that's where Shrek has been visiting a lot. So people have been saying that Shrek has been giving kids Guatemala syphilis. <laughs> no. No, how dare you. These People are anti-brogers. They will not stop. They will not deviate from their program until we wake up or... Or... We wake up and do things properly. The way we freaking should have! Final point I want to bring up is how um, one time I was being teased by upperclassmen in my school about Shrek. They had pinned me down against a locker between periods, and it's made no skin in my mouth. And they looked at my, they looked at my phone. They went through my camera roll, and they found all these pictures of Shrek on there. And they laughed and giggled and made fun. I tried to fight back, but their anti-ogre powers were too strong for me, and I was outnumbered. And one of them 
tagged me in a post on social media and said that I was a Shrek worshipping faggot and I shouldn't get any friends. They all laughed at me. And that's when I lost it. I started yelling, GET OFF ME! GET OFF ME! And, and I, I got all this strength and I just, I rose up and I turned into a super broger. Exactly what it sounds like, a super broger. My hair, my hair rose up like, like this and stuff and turned green. And, and the room smelt of onions in the hallway. And I got up, looked them all dead in the eye. It's all ogre now. And one tries to punch me, but I catch the fist and smash it in my hands. And then I pull them over onto my knee, like, poof. And he, and he freaking dies. And then two of them try charging at me, but I do an onion on me, ha. And I freaking blast them all to hell. And then the last one proved to be a more formidable challenge. He kept blocking all my attacks and doing all my onion key blasts and stuff. And then finally, I took out one of those morphable onions. Turned into a sword, chopped his penis off, and I killed him. By sh strangling him with the chopped off penis. So, um... So I wanted to bring up for today. I thank you all for tuning in. And please have a Shrek-tastic day.